Hello and welcome back. As you can see, I, I did go those little bits filled in on the sides there with the sidewalls cut off a few custom pieces. Got the, uh, the EMU sitting there. And I was mentioning trying a Pullman in there. So I've got one out this week to, to have, a, have a try. Let's just have a, a quick swing around here. Not a great deal else has gone on. A little, little bit of electrical work, a couple of points I've put in. But the, uh, the temperature has been so incredible this week with the, the 25th of June today. And, um, it really has been a very, very hot week. So yeah, we've got the, the Pullman there. So I have just been uh, giving the motor just a quick going over. So we'll, we'll have a, a quick glance at these in a moment. So uh, they run quite smoothly. They are, I, will, I didn't buy these as a set, they're, they're bits and pieces. Um, I do have a, another one which you can see in another video, uh, which is a much closer color match if you look here. This one's quite yellowed. And the dummy car there is, is quite, quite a vibrant colour on that one. The roofs have all, all been fairly, fairly well sort of uh, played with in, a, in and out of the toy box. But uh, let's have a quick glance at the motor. I've just been uh, on the rolling road. So the bench is all a bit of a mess at the moment. Let's see if we can just give this a little bit of power and we'll have a, have a quick glance at it. And then we'll, we'll get that on the rails. So again, we've got the, uh, the knurled wheels there, making that very, very distinctive sound. Whoops, there we go. So I'm wobbling with the camera there. So you can see the bench is all a bit of a mess. So I've been cutting some of these, these side walls to fit, to go into those gaps there. So I've had some appropriately broken ones. So I haven't had to sacrifice any, which are um, sort of, in good condition, we'll try not to uh, not to break any that haven't already been broken, as it were. So let's have a quick look at that. So it's a, quite a nice thing. So it's in, in a fairly sort of original-ish condition. So we'll just get this on the rails and we'll, we'll have a look at it. We we'll get much much smoother running out of it, I think. So uh, it's the the motor bogey. The, the side frames on this are a slightly different design. Let me. Actually, we should get the uh, the EMU out and have a look at that side by side, perhaps a little bit later on. Um, so they are a slightly different design. Whilst I think the motor is pretty much the same deal once we're inside. So let's get that on the rails. There we go. Now I've got the, the handset down here, and I hope I've left that uh, all connected up. So let's give that a, a little bit of power. So you can hear those ribbed wheels are on the track, aren't you? So let's give that a little power. We'll run it out the other way. So I think it'll, uh, it'll do the trick on the rails. Whoops, give it a bit more than I thought there. Let's try that again. See if we can just hook up with those coaches. There we have it. And let's see if we can give that a little power. Yeah, I think if I get that back together, we'll we'll see if we can have a bit of fun with that. So let's just run that one back a little bit more. So if we break from this now, and I'll just get that. Actually, we'll just have a look at the uh, the rest of the the model whilst it's uh, whilst it's dismantled. So I haven't managed to get the bench cleaned up to have a look at really. So I think this is uh, this is model R triple five came along sixty three, and it was uh, in production up until uh, sixty seven, and then sixty eight. I think for one year only, it got a yellow nose. Have a look at the uh, insert picture there. Um, and then 69 they had the uh, the grey version with the blue stripe down the side so they've got the, this one's got the lovely flush windows have a look inside there the sort of the, the screw that the, the so the hole that the screw goes into there is slightly off center I think we've, we've just lost some focus there let's see if we can we can get get some focus back here there we go 
So the screw is, is slightly off center in there. So let's uh, put, put that piece down. So actually you can probably see it better down there than me, me holding it up there. You see the, the windows are, are glued in from the outside, that, that panel. And uh, I think uh, this one has been in the wars a bit. I think, I don't know whether it's the dummy end no, this end, the, the, most of that decal on the front, I think the dummy ends on the, this particular group is um, intact. And I say they have been in and out of the toy box. And there's that seating unit, it's quite nicely stuck on there. I think those are, are sort of brass lamps, but they've all sort of discoloured over the years. Lovely under frame detail there. We've got uh, pinpoint axles with uh, plastic wheels. So quite a nice thing, and the motor's just gonna gonna slot into that part there. So I'll, uh, I'll get that assembled and we'll, we'll, we'll jump back to it. So there we've got the, the motor coach all back together. So that's R555. And then we've got the, uh, the center car or the, the parlor car. And that was uh, R426. Available for a similar period as the, uh, the, the Blue Pullman's overall. I think 63 to 71. It could, be, it could also have been used the one with the one with the yellow end in 1968, I think. And then there's the the dummy on the end there, which is our 556. So let's just have a, a quick look at the the end of that one. Let's have a glance down there. So the decal is much nicer. Uh, at a position where that's in focus. There we go. So I think uh, we'll just grab the controls and we'll just run that up to the uh, up to the new station. So ideally, I think. Uh, I still forgot to put a peg on the end of that, but never mind. So let's uh, let's give that some power now. So we'll just run that into the station. And off it goes there into the distance. extra piece of track on the end and a couple of pieces of platform there I mentioned that somebody said they would send me some platform and that, that arrived this week so that's all balanced in place but not fixed yet so I was really pleased to get that so it was a very kind that person to send me those platform pieces and, and a couple of other items as well but uh, we'll have a look at those at, a, at another time so I think uh, let's uh, let's give this some power and we'll bring it down we'll just run it back down to level ground so we're now pushing the model down, so effectively running backwards. And I've still got that flickering lamp, which I keep forgetting about. So I don't tend to have all of this extra lighting on if I'm not making a video. And I completely forget about it. So I don't think I've got any hazards in the way here. So if this keeps going, we'll, we'll end up back in the station in a moment. Whoops, there was a hazard. Actually, I gotta stop it there. I was thinking I'd be able to bring it back through to this station here, but uh, I can't reach the point. So that point it's sitting at now, let's just go back over there, is one the one I got to change. It'll, it'll probably derail if I run through that in the wrong direction. So we'll just jump over there and we'll, we'll pick it up from there. That's the set of points I didn't want to run through when I was standing on the other side of the railway, but I thought well, whilst I was uh, crawling under the railway that uh, I might as well bring the EMU down as well. So if I isolate this, I have fiddled with a couple of other points as well. So we'll get that one there. So that will, ideally the uh, blue pullman won't move anywhere when we, when we get this locomotive underway. So I just need to uh, switch this one to straight, I think. So the uh, EMU will come out. And I think we're all good to bring the uh, EMU down. We'll, we'll transfer that to the inside line. Then perhaps we can have both of these great looking items running together. So let's, uh, let's give that a little bit of power to start with. Let's see if we can, the theory will work. Tremendous sound on the rails, very similar to the, uh, the blue Pullman. 
motor bogey almost entirely the same. Slight differences on the, uh, the, side, the side frames. So here they say I've got the, I think I said I turned out the light because it was flickering. But, uh, so we're a little bit darker on this side of the railway at the moment. Just take a bit of power off that as we come through the crossover here. And then we'll just follow that round. And we'll get that fully onto the inside. There we go. So let's, uh, let's put the controls down for a second. There we have it. And then we just need to switch. Which one have we got to do it? What color is that? That's the blue one. So let's make that straight. And then the, uh, the green one, let's, uh, let's pan around here. There, that's what we're looking for. So I'm panning the camera around and I'm looking in a completely different direction. So we've done that there. We'll pick up the controls and then we need to uh, alter this point, which is not electrified yet. And we need to do this one. Before I lose concentration, what I'm gonna do is make the, uh, make it the railway controllable by two separate controllers now. So we'll just isolate both lines so they're, they're not electrified from the same point. And then we'll make sure we've got a feed to the inside line from the, the right hand side of the controller here. So this point here was electrified this week. So that, that one's now uh, up and running. So I can make that one curved and straight. So that's gonna be useful. So we've got a few more to do. And there's one more, I think I was pointing at it. I think I drilled the holes through the board last week and the uh, EMU is currently sitting on there. So we'll just leave that one alone. I'm just nervously checking over the elevated section there. Yeah, and that's all good. So ideally, we've got uh, two separate railways now. So I'm just gonna bring out the, uh, the Pullman now. So see if we can get that one running and uh, into the station. So it's a, it's a good plan. So give that a little power. I think this should look pretty good coming into this double O station. There we go. I'm holding my, the camera at such an angle, it's just making my, uh, my arm wobble. It's just hanging, hanging on a nerve there. So let's get the uh, EMU to run the other way around the railway now. So let's see if we can, we can give that a little power. So I think if we haven't got any hazards for this, we'll let that one run and we'll, we'll get the Pullman out of the station as well. to say the noise with the two sets of ribbed wheels running at the same time is quite tremendous. Oops, just losing some focus there. Looks great running behind those. So I think we'll just see if we can catch the, uh, the blue Pullman one more time. Here she comes. Just catch that one running away from us. I think if I uh, grab some control over this now, whoops, let's go back the other way. So I instantly reached down without looking and uh, turned the controls the wrong way. 
Let's see if we can just get a couple more follow, follows around with this wonderful looking train. Through the station and away she goes. Now I think what we'll do, we'll just now plan to get this to a stop. Yeah, they definitely make a racket, those. So let's have a quick look at the catalog. So we won't go right the way through it. We'll just have a quick look over it. So that's the, uh, the 64 catalog with that tremendous picture of the Pullman racing through the uh, level crossing there. Wonderful motor car in bright red there. Let's, uh, let's just have a look at this slightly early catalog because I think the Pullman, the blue Pullman first showed up in uh, 63 or late 63. Let's have a look how it looked in, in the catalog. So let's see if we can uh, run to the page. We're not gonna go through all of the catalog. We'll just have a look at the specific pages. So uh, I don't know why I don't go straight to it. I've put this price list in there because it's on that page. I'm not thinking. Sadly, this, this locomotive doesn't appear on the price list this year. You can see it says new, and there's, there it is, diesel Pullman motor car, type two, with seats, blue livery, and it's uh, R, let's see if we can get a bit closer, R555, and, and it's got the, uh, the non-powered car there. So if we have a look down the, uh, the list here, let's see if we can find it on the list. So if we look right down here, we've got R555 and a diesel Pullman and a non-powered car, and it says autumn next to it. So I don't think there was any pricing for that year. Let me see so if we get uh, that catalog closed. And let's pop that over there and we'll just jump back to this one. So if we go a couple of pages in here, let's see if we can get up a little bit higher. Wonderful imagery in here. And then the nice thing about this particular catalogue, it is very soft paper, but uh, it has got the prices scribbled in there. So again, we can see up there, available separately, R555. I think I might have got too many fives in there. Um, and R556, new, and uh, 50, 52 and six for the, uh, the motor car, the powered, powered unit. And then uh, 13 and six for the non-powered unit. So that's, uh, that's quite quite a quite a difference, isn't it? So of course you're getting the motor, and there is the RS52 Blue Pullman train set, and that's a, a whopping great uh, 97 and six. Must have been a tremendous uh, item to get, especially coming with this centre coach. So I think we'll uh, just pop those away. I think we'll just get the Blue Pullman underway one more time. Actually, no, we won't get the Blue Pullman away one more time. I think we'll just end by looking at the uh, the uh, the side frames on that motor bogey. So let's, um, let's grab the, the uncoupling unit. I knew we were going to look at something else, so let's, let's get that. There we go. Let's get that down there. And then let's get the, uh, the drive unit off here. So let's swap hands with the camera and move that down there. There we go. Let's just lift that out of there. There we go. So if we have a look at the, uh, the side frame there. So that's the, uh, the Pullman. And then we have a look very, so that's a, a different design, isn't it? So I think this is more that sort of electrical third rail sort of third rail pickup so we lost lost focus altogether there we're going to get it back there we go so i think they were they are really tremendous things i think basically the motors are pretty much the same item within both of those and um we've got the uh, the station platforms there and the extra ones that somebody very kindly sent to me and uh, i think they look terrific in there i haven't got the support set up but hopefully in the coming weeks when i get a little bit extra time we'll get some support set there but I think that's probably it for this week. So if you look back again, oh, we, we did get the, the girder bridge out as well for, for some spacing. And uh, if you look back next time, we'll see if we can have uh, something else to have a play with uh, on the railway. 
Goodbye now.